Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid bringing you another legendary weapon guide for Borderlands 3. And this time we will be taking a look at the Vladov Assault Rifle, The Damned. And its red text is, well, I'll be. And obviously that is a reference to its own name, aka to the quote, well, I'll be damned. Now, the weapon itself is interesting. As you can see, it's a Vladov assault rifle. However, it does have a shield like Hyperion weapons do with a capacity of 3141 at level 50. Now, it does reflect the bullet the bullets back to attackers as well. Unfortunately, at level 50, the shield really doesn't last that long though. Combined with its rather poor damage, mediocre magazine size, it does have a decent fire rate however, but is let down by its 3 second reload speed. Now, the weapon itself is iffy to be honest. It can be good, but it can also be bad. It's pretty good for Moe's and Flak, particularly Flak, because of his high fire rate and critical hits. If you were just going for body shots like this, though, it's not really that great, especially on Mayhem mode. Once you really start getting the crits, though, because of the really high fire rate, it can really start ramping the damage up very, very quickly. Granted, it's not the best weapon and it never will be, but it is still pretty good nonetheless. Unfortunately, it's definitely not, not, not the best. Now, it's mediocre. This is going to be one of those weapons that, you know, if you get while leveling a character, it's going to be pretty good and you're going to like it. But at level 50, you're probably not going to have space in your backpack for this. Also, unfortunately, I did get a terrible scope on mine, so I can't even show off the Hyperion shield. Sorry about that one, guys, but, you know, hey, you can get your own just by doing this very simple thing. Let's take a look, shall we? So, how do you get it? Well, the easiest way is, because it's a world drop, we can basically just abuse the tink method. Now, tinks were hotfixed, however, there is actually a way to basically get rid of that hotfix. You see, on Borderlands 3, the hotfix is actually applied when you're on this main menu here, which means as long as you aren't connected to the internet when you load up the game, the hotfix will actually not apply. So, for example, right now I'm going to close application, so completely closing Borderlands 3. What this does is it removes the hotfix. Because the hotfix isn't actually downloaded and saved on your system, basically we can trick the game into not downloading it at all. All you need to do is go into network and disable your internet connection. Now, whenever you load up Borderlands 3 and you get to that main menu, because you aren't actually connected to the internet, it's not going to download the hotfix. So we can infinitely farm the uh, tank method. Now, the reason that we're going to use tanks is because with this method, as long as you don't have the hotfix on, basically the tank will spawn 100% of the time in Jacob's estate. And using tanks, you can get anywhere from like three to four legendaries per bag opening. But not only that, the tank does also drop a lot of legendaries while he's just running around the map as well, which makes this much, much easier to get. Okay, so now that we're back at the main menu, of course, because I disabled the internet connection, we haven't actually got the hotfix downloaded. So all I'm gonna do right here is continue game, I've already got the checkpoint in Jacob's Estate. Once I load in, I will show you on the map exactly where you need to go, though, for this looting. So, now that we're finally loaded into the map, this is Jacob's Estate. This right here is the fast travel station where you'll spawn into the map. Simply run around all the way through the map until you get to here, which has a new use station, which is right there. From this new use station, all you need to do is head over the bridge into this little swampy area and coming out of that little door on the side there is going to be the loot tank. Simply throw a couple of grenades or give him a couple of shots, whichever you want to do, and he will die very, very easily. Now, the buffs on Mayhem mode for me weren't that good, so I killed him incredibly quickly. Ideally, you know, if you keep a couple of shots going on him, he will run around for a bit, dropping even more loot. 
So, let's take a look. I got a non-stop shield, a tri-bolt, and a stop gap. So, nothing good this time. Unfortunately, the one downside to this method is because the world drop pool is so vast in Borderlands 3, it might take you a little bit of time to get the legendary that you want. However, this is definitely the fastest method of farming legendaries in Borderlands 3. So, give it a try. I hope you get what you want. That It's simply that easy, guys. That easy. All you want to do now to repeat the method is save and quit. And then, as soon as you load back in, you're just going to be straight back over at the new use station. So, you can come straight back here and get another loot tank. But that's where I'm going to end this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Of course, if you're new around here, then also make sure you definitely subscribe for even more Borderlands-free content. As always, though, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.